Hope you guys are doing pretty good today. Start of a new week, new Monday. I've been uh, away from streaming due to a mix of busy with work and also Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you guys can understand. Um, it's gonna do a little bit of warm up. Uh, the tournament should be starting in like five or so minutes. I do have a bye. Um, so we definitely have a, a few bit, uh, a little bit of time to warm up. side. What else do I want to practice? Okay, let's do it from the other side. Overgoing or not going enough. Okay. Hey, Aki. Just warming up. Oh, uh, remind me actually sometime to show you some uh, Yuzu counterplay that Mika has that um, I only kind of figured out recently. Uh, it, it involves Yuzu's uh, round start up back. Um, if Mika does B Tornado uh, and does the follow up to catch her being in the air. Um, so like Yuzu can do uh, the air DP to hit Mika out of it, but you know, Yuzu's DP, like whiffing on people close to her, means uh, Mika can react to the air DP with her EX missile. And since the first part of EX missile goes forward, uh, it goes into the part of Yuzu's air DP that whiffs. And so you can then steer it back to whiff punish Yuzu's DP. It's like, Hard to set up in training mode, um, which is why I think like I'll, I'll have to uh, kind of uh, do the timing where like the DP would actually come out. 
But yeah, basically just if you see the EX flash, do EX missile and uh, you'll kill her. Um. Okay, you already set it up? Okay, yeah. I, I just wanted to make sure that, like, you knew about it. Because, like, since, you know, uh, you're, uh, you know, one of my locals, I don't want you to lose to any Yuzu that's not me. Yeah, I, I mean, I figured it's like weird uh, missile directions at first, but I'm sure it's pretty consistent once you do it, just because like Yuzu should be in recovery for about 100 frames. Uh, I can't imagine you not being able to punish that. Feeling good there. Um, let's see. cognizant of that spacing. If that happens, I have to do that. Um, actually maybe I, I do 5D instead. Let me try that. Uh, that might be too tight. Uh, it might actually just not work with, uh, the proration might be too bad. Yeah, the proration's too bad if, if I add that button. Oh, you uh, you entered the bracket? Oh, good luck. Uh, I wonder if it's better to neutral strong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a neutral jump here. Nah, that's... Can't do it like that. Yeah, that's what I have to do. Okay.
Let's see. Oh, it's 505. Let's uh, check in on uh, the bracket. Uh, looks like Defiant entered. Um, okay, so waiting on this match, but I can let that. So to get into, I have to win this and then fight the winner of Squish versus winner of that. Okay. And then if I make it further, um, I'm guessing I would have to go against Toast, but you know, you never know with these uh, brackets what will happen. But not gonna try and think about it too much. I will uh, just do my best. Okay, so. Go back to the game here. Kind of keep trying to warm up a little bit. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see, let's let's practice uh, this combo because this one's always tough. Um, let's get some spacing here. I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that. That's right. Yeah, that's the, that's the, the tough part. Um, trying to get uh, both of those hits, or the full hits of flip to a line. I probably have to just omit the JD. Yeah, that keeps it consistent. Then I don't have to worry about uh, weird spacing. Yeah, I like that. I, I like that. It's consistent. Uh, let's do this side. Uh, looks like omitting the JD is actually more damage anyway. Just doing JC is uh, more damage. Okay, that is really good to know. Uh, I, I am taking that to mean you won your first match, Aki. Speaking of which, I am going to take a peek on... All right, I'm not being uh, at for games just yet. Uh, but looking at the start GG, it looks like uh, I can play now, so I'm going to go ahead and at my opponent. Let's 
So I am going to uh, Okay, so I'm gonna go to their room. Right, give me one sec here. Hold on a sec. The game is like visually, I think it's my monitor is bugging out because I don't see it on uh, you guys' feed. But like, it is very much uh, doing weird things. You know what? I'm going to kill the game and restart it, is what I'm going to do. Uh, hang tight. Yeah, I don't know why my monitor is doing that. Oh, it seems to be done. Okay. Hopefully. Uh, it seems to be fine. Uh, this one. Thank you, Clem. Thank you, uh, Steve. I was expecting that to whiff punish. So I was probably just a little slow. Trying to see us. Potentially could have killed with one bar, but I didn't trust it. And sometimes Hilda just makes you guess wrong and he kills you. So I'm not a fan of letting her live.
Alright, we got there. Alright, let me say my GG's. And leave this room. Okay. So... Okay, so that is done. And then so we're waiting on this. We're waiting on Squish versus Soul Bad Guy Wonner. Canelo was on the back of my chair just a little bit ago, um, but uh, you know she's off doing her own thing. She she might be back. Thank you. Uh, let's see. What's the spacing where I can get that? Um, uh, that's probably just <clears throat> only something I can do with a uh, chain shift. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Toast has been putting in a lot of work. Yeah, that always drops, so I just... Actually, um, I'm curious. I'm curious about something. Um, let's see, how, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? Um, yeah, I wanna test. So that's two ground bounces. That's what I thought, okay. 
even though that was the third ground bounce, um, I can still use EX moves if I want to do that. Uh, how much do I save by doing that? So 24.63 versus... Thirty-six forty-one. Okay, so it is less damage. But that's still probably useful for some characters. And it might even be fine for Yuzu in some spots. Um, because let me think, if I do this, that's two bounces. Uh, so that's 3827. Yeah, it, it's still a net loss. Okay. Yeah, it, it's not, but like, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't think it should be. Um, I mean, one thing that uh, Yuzu does get if she wants it, but it's like, I don't know. To me, the cost is uh, probably too high. Oh, hold on. I think I'm on stream. Yeah, I I'm waiting on stream. So I, I got a little bit. Let me take a look at the, at the bracket here. Anyway, uh, going back to uh, the game here. Um, let me see if I can just, if I remember correctly, it's um, so if I do this, um, yeah. Yeah, it's just a regular assault. And versus if it's off, uh, let's just have it be uh, wake up five. Eight. So uh, you can safe jump with it, uh, with uh, with assault JA, but also like if they um, wake up like shield, can I? Can I set stand shield as the reversal? Yeah, standing shield. Um, so the only reason uh, I don't like it is because uh, if Yuzu does... Um, oh, I, I, I don't know... Um, if Yuzu's changes later in the combo. I would hope not, because it's all like, the only time I'm all, I'm using AB as is, is for a very easy IW. Uh, slashes into IW is still more damage. Um, that is weird that uh, it whiffs on, um, on nothing. Like, it, the fact that it whiffs on Stand Shield is funny. This is actually really funny. So, we saw that that happens. Okay, no, no, I, I was just bad. Um, but... There's no way I'm still plus 23.
Yeah, it, it is weird that it kind of just whiffs on that sometimes. Um, but does not whiff if I do nothing. Oh, I'm actually... I, I can do it too soon. I wonder if it, that's why uh, it needs to be uh, that. Let's try that. Um... No, then it's not a safe jump. Yeah. So it, it might work at end of a combo. Okay, so it's 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 just straight up not good. Not even if you spend the, the two grid bars for using it at the end of a combo. Hey, Pesto. <laughs> I'm sure you did, Steve.
Alright. Uh, I got disconnected. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna say it. Oh, uh, it looks like Squish was also disconnected, so I think the room crashed. I'm just gonna, uh... I'm gonna give uh, Squish the first round because uh, Yeah, uh, one of us probably doesn't have, um, like, a perfect connection to the host. Yeah, like, it... It really matters that the person that hosting it, it has like really good connections to everyone in the bracket. Alright, so I'll give Squish the round again. Go ahead and play.
squish <clears throat> uh, let me say my GG's all right time to report score Yeah, like, I, I, I want to, like, whenever I play someone like Squish, I want it to be, like, if they get on a tear with momentum, uh, I don't like that being interrupted. Uh, I very much agree. Okay. So I should be able to close this. Okay. So, oh, nice. Good job, Aki. So I'm probably fighting Aki right here, which is funny because I was just at, uh, telling her Yuzu counterplay just like a little bit ago. <laughs> but you know, that's how it goes. Ah. Uh, I don't care, like, I will never withhold uh, tech, especially for my locals. Like, I may not post, like, a lot of tech on Twitter, but, like, that's mostly because uh, the only thing uh, Twitter people care about is combos. No, no one ever cares about, like, counterplay to things, especially when there's layers. If there's not, like, see this situation, do exactly this, uh, then people don't want it. Wait, Aegis Esports, I, I'm i so confused. I'm in the middle of your tournament. <laughs> what is what is going on? Am I the streamer? What? <laughs> I, I mean... I... Hold on. What? <laughs> oh, they're they're canceling the stream for now. Uh, I, I'm sorry that the things are going wrong. Um, like all I, I can say about like Steam, uh, like when the lobby crashes, is uh, it's usually like if the host um, doesn't have a great connection to uh, one of the people in it, it can be unstable. So sometimes it's like really good to have uh, the stream PC. Um, it, it's good to have the stream PC not be the one that hosts the lobby. Um, like I, I know it sucks to have to kind of like work around it like that, 
but having the lobby just basically be a dedicated machine uh, helps things go smoother, and then you're just a spectator. But uh, it, it is unfortunate, for sure. All right, so uh, sounds like we're playing this off stream. So uh, Aki, if you wanna uh, get in, I'll go ahead and make the room. Oh, whoops. I am not se uh, selecting characters. All right. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's do this. Good luck and have fun, Aki. Thank you, Tabby. <laughs> oh, wrong button to press. Thank you very much for the subscription. I will... I can't read the name just yet. Oh, nice. Tabby, you're the one that subscribed. Thank you. Not press a button that reaches. That is my own fault. Hey, salty boy, how are you doing? I'm sorry that the your comms had to drop out.
Okay, I was not actually fully sure that that was going to whiff punish. Uh, I got you on the bracket. Yeah, I, I, I figured that was a, a, a mess up on, on your part because uh, you definitely had the resources for it. But good games. That's... Uh, Yeah, like, you have to be aware of uh, when you get crossed up for sure. Like, that happens uh, with Yuzu teleports all the time. Like, if they move in an unpredictable way, even if I was uh, planning on having, uh, on staying in front, sometimes I end up behind, and then uh, I have to input everything backwards. So, yeah, just be like that. All right, um, before winner's finals, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some more water. So uh, I will be right back. I tried to bring the cat, but uh, she's not really having it. And yeah, I, I definitely uh, hear you on a 2FF, like making it even harder of a read to jump over a horizontal slash. It is really tough. Absolutely. Like, <clears throat> when I was first messing with that button, um, it stood out to me that... Um, even if I have the necessary marks for it, I can't use 2FF if I've used any force function already. But then, you know, it makes sense that they don't want you to be able to with it and then go straight into another. But yeah, move is bullshit. I, I do not blame you for, uh, for being frustrated. So let's see, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna take a peek at Star's uh, Twitch and see how that match is going. Uh, looks like Star is like done with his match, potentially. Yeah, uh, I definitely think it should have, like, some proper whiff recovery, but, you know, I'm not common, eh? I'm gonna abuse what's in front of me. Like, yeah, I think the move is, like, way over-tuned. Alright, Star's not even streaming his match, so... Um, yeah, I think we're just kind of chilling for a bit. I'm gonna keep my hands warm. Uh, let's see, looks like I got a message. Uh, I'm doing pretty okay for now, uh, Pojo. I'm waiting in winner's finals. Alright, so let's... Um do that. <laughs> it 
If I lose, I will be blessed with more puns. I mean, I, I think the puns are just a fact of life. I need to not do that. There we go. No delay makes it easy. Overdo it on on that. So let's have a look. Okay, uh, Star did check into his match, so um, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna uh, bring back over this. Not seeing Star in top eight, I just oh assumed that uh, Defiant decued himself, but looks like he's still in and was just too late for the first one, and so he's just making a loser's run from like round one because he was late. Yeah, because I definitely was expecting. To, like have to fight uh, Defiant in uh, winners finals if it came to that, but uh, is Star finally playing? That Steam name is is pretty good. Not gonna lie, <laughs> the Great Gatsby. <laughs> uh, okay, Moon Bloom has to end the combo there. Yeah. Uh, I played Moonbloom um, for the first time the other day, and I was like pretty impressed. They're like, uh, they're really good Merc. I don't know if they had played prior to Uni Two, but like, definitely one of the better Mercs that that I've uh, that that I've played in uh, North America. You know, I think Gordo should be able to punish that. I don't, like, against characters with reach, I think 5C, 2-2C is, like, super fake. I'll, I'll have to test that. Nice blocks. Alright. Yeah. Oh, you're dead. So it looks like it'll probably be me versus Moonbloom. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause that. So now I get to fight Moonbloom, and like as you saw, like from beating Star, uh, they are 
a very solid Merkaba. See here. <laughs> Thank you for the cheer. That is a really cute emo. Yeah, that is really cute. I have to, I'm gonna zoom in on this one too. Oh, Choo Choo, I like that too. Hopefully they get in pretty soon. Yeah. So uh, I mentioned it earlier in the stream, but um, when the tournament is done, I'm gonna be doing some VOD review for uh, my locals that just happened. Um, I didn't play in that, uh, I'm just kind of doing it for my scene. Um, so, uh, hopefully you'll be able to get some uh, something out of that. Um, there's going to be a variety of characters that, I, that I'll be looking over. Um, And I, I'm sorry that uh, your drive with the bracket plummeted. That is unfortunate, especially when you like got such a good uh, upset over Toast. That that's pretty sick. Like I, I wish I would have would uh, have been able to see that. All right, so let's do this. Uh, so this is first to three. It's winners finals. my own fault. I thought I was going to be able to see us. auto baits it. I think there's a good chance I'm dead. Final 
up the combo, but I can still do stuff. This guy is, is pretty good. I can't uh, block too much or else the 50-50s come out. Scrambly, what we get there. Uh, you made me check if the cat was already behind me again. So to bait that DP, I can't cancel into my own DP. I have to just let it rock and accept that 63C will hit me. Uh, th that block string uh, auto baits uh, Merkaba 236C. Uh, I do it because it's gapless until the exact spot that I'm okay with there being a gap. Uh, it can be VO'd and 63C also does uh, well into it. That meter. <clears throat> I 
Okay. I must have not buffered correctly. Yep, that is my own fault. Alright, see you, Stalfo. I'm glad I recognize that whiff. <laughs> that would have been bad. Yeah, I mean, that, that was definitely kind of sloppy. I'm not going to front. Okay, so we are uh, kind of chilling for a bit. Might as well just kind of showcase what I mean. Alright, let's set reversal to 236C. Okay. Uh, let's uh, have him block all. Oh, thank you. Um, so, uh, I, I just set the, the Merc to reversal 236C first possible gap. Just showing that that is a legitimate block string that you can do against Merkava that you think is fishing for CS into uh, reversal. You just need to be the only, like, uh, prerequisite is be at about this spacing, do a C button into 214B. That's all it takes. But you can block string into it from here. Um, but just to kind of show you, uh, this is what happens if he does this reversal. He hits me and gets out, uh, only deals 200 uh, damage. And of course this works. 
Um, that block string is still useful against other characters because um, in the middle of this, like in reaction to a, a super flash, you can uh, do that like while still up being up here. Um, um, let me see if I can, if I can, uh, invulm through, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think that I can uh, bait it with that string. I have to like have already been uh, doing it. But even then, uh, not enough in one. Hey, Star. Thank you for the raid. Um, yeah, I, I was just showing uh, the folks that if, if you play Yuzu, uh, you can uh, take advantage of Merkava's looking for any possible opportunity. Um, if you try to raid the Aegis channel, uh, I think they are raiding me, so it like, you raided them, then that raided me. So yeah, uh, a lot of characters can can uh, do this to Merkava though. Like, uh, if I uh, do like uh, Lene, uh, I can like block string into here. Um, that's guard all. And um, that. Uh, so probably not that. Uh, probably has to be C. Yeah. So you can do that. Um, leave Merkava alone? I don't know. Merkava is pretty, uh, a really strong character. It, he's worth learning some counter play for. Um. But yeah, let's see. Um, Gordo has it pretty easy because uh, if if I just do something uh, like uh, I should be able to uh, I should be able to cancel that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Mer Merkaba can, can absolutely uh, do that to a lot of characters. Um, people trying to reversal punish as 2 and 4A. Uh, no, uh, Mer Merkaba's reversal isn't even that slow. Uh, the, the main thing is uh, you use a special and uh, specials in this game are almost all universally whiff cancelable into an EX move. So like, this move is whiffing, right? That's his 2 to a I can whiff cancel that into any EX move. So that's what's going on. You do your frame trap with a special you can whiff cancel, and then you react to the super flash with your own super. That, that, that's all that's happening. Um, it, it really depends on uh, on the whiff cancel. So like this has a decent amount of active frames. So uh, even though um, I don't actually get like super flash isn't until like four frames after the startup, I still am able to whiff cancel.
So that, that, that's what's happening. Uh, some characters have it easier than others on doing that kind of thing. Um, like, I don't think you can do this with Yuzu anymore with the uh, changes. So like if I do, um, um, let me try. That they might have actually extended the, the cancel window because before Yuzu had a two frame cancel window. Yeah, it, it seems to be uh, pretty. Um... Yeah, they might have extended the whip cancel windows to allow for this kind of like back and forth on, on supers because that timing should only have a one frame gap. So if Yuzu was locked out uh, after her active frames, because this thing is only one, uh, two frames active. So the four frames would go past that. Uh, let's see how the, how the match, uh, how the uh, bracket is doing here. Uh, looks like we have uh, Aki and Defiant. And then they're going to face Moonbloom. Uh, let me turn that off now. Uh, so while I'm waiting, I might as well just kind of like show you guys uh, some basic, like just fighting Merkaba stuff. So I'm gonna um, take control of Merc for this. So uh, his best mash out buttons are all lows. It's 2As, 2B, 6, 6B, and 2C. Yeah, Vile's doing really good. Um, yeah, so if you're fighting Merkaba, be aware that these are his best buttons. And so, like, resetting pressure with assaults makes all of those whiff. And if you force him to have to rely on this and this, you can uh, actually just do a lot more staggers and just keep resetting up close because these are all much slower. Like this is an 11 frame 5B, uh, you know, 17 frame 4B. Like he does not want to have to mash out with this. Uh, and this is an, uh, a eight frame 5A. Wait, uh, what, did, did Akimi just win? Um, not, not seeing anything just yet. I'll, I'll keep an eye out on, on the chat. So they usually do stream this event. Um, but they were having like stream issues, you know, stream is a blow up. It happens. Yeah, it, it, it sucks, but you know. That is, it is what it is.
Oh, uh, force function being zero on block? Yeah. Yeah, that, it, it's really good. Especially against six framers. Um, the only thing that like stops me from abusing this more is, um, let me change the grid settings. Uh, uh, it bleeds a pretty good amount of grid. So it, you get half a block for uh, blocking it. Like, you know, you don't get anywhere near as much from blocking uh, any th um, much other moves, right? So like that can be a huge grid swing. Uh, and so I don't, I, I don't go for it a lot. Um, I tend to do it against like really antsy six framers with a meter DP characters because I can uh, basically just uh, do this over and over again and being able to whiff like the only gaps I'm doing are ones I can whiff cancel because this is whiff cancelable uh, into, into supers and so is this. And if I time it right, so is that. So it's like, it's it's pretty cheap. But yeah. Um, so not only is this zero, uh, that's also zero. Yeah, Kuon's like, super cheap. Um, but I will say, like, this block string is super toxic when they don't have a 100 meter and they have Vorpal. Um, hold on. I'm just gonna feed him Grid. Alright, let's... Let's not give him Celestial. Alright, so they have Vorpal. Look at all that Grid just going down. Yeah, uh, ever, ever, so um, the, the fucked up thing with chain shifting against Yuzu is not just that teleports uh, do the red mist. You see this little walk? Uh, th this is like a, a 70 frame walk uh, to refill uh, her stance marks, right? Um, this, this walk is technically a move and it triggers it. Uh, a lot of people weirdly don't know uh, that this exists. It's not used for its intended purpose much. It, I mostly use it to bait chain shift because in the middle of this walk, even though it's 70 frames total, I can cancel at any point into anything. So like in the middle of that, I can just dodge. Um, well, there's no reason to, like, cancel into itself, even though it can. Uh, the main thing is you enter stance and hit the walk at their, uh, wake-up timing so that if they chain shift, they see red flash, and then if they super, you dodge. Like, if you're playing against a Yuzu, do not trust the red mist. Trust your own instincts. Don't trust the red mist. Yeah. Yeah, that, that stuff, all, all that stuff is why I assume, uh, is why, like, they don't give her, uh, like, uh, super gross up close pressure. You have to definitely lean into the, you know, press something that's, uh, minus seven and then run strike throw. I, I'm glad that you're learning more and more vile things about this user Reha champion. <laughs> right, I'm gonna take a peek real quick at uh, what the bracket is looking like. Oh, nice! Akimi beat 
Uh, Duffy, really good shit. So now, um, and I wish I could I could watch that. I mean, if if you're not getting carried by your character, you're definitely playing it wrong. Like the only times I am not getting carried is when I'm like learning a new character to like force myself to learn some fundamentals that I don't practice enough with Yuzu. Like when I was learning clear Akatsuki, uh, he was like pretty good, but I wasn't getting carried anywhere near as much as with Yuzu. But yeah, that, like things I'm being carried by with Yuzu, this. Like, why is this jump cancelable? Why is it dash cancelable? Why is it, uh, why does it have, like, why is it plus on whiff? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's absurdly good. Oh, um, one of the things that, that I don't know if you've encountered, it, it comes up in the Yuzu Kuan matchup a decent amount. So I'm gonna have the CPU be jumping and blocking, right? Air unblockable. If you end up blocking in the air against Yuzu like that, if she has the necessary marks, uh, like, yeah, you do have to have the correct marks remaining to, to do that, but like, this is fucked up. Um, I'm actually, hold on, I'm, I'm curious if like a character like Seth has counterplay. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna test against uh, Sea Dive. Uh, air. No, that, that's the orb. I want to say... That. Let's see. Oh, no, okay. So, wrong one. Let me make sure. Okay. Let, let's see if, he, if, if, if Seth can escape this. No. It's gapless. Yep. It's just bullshit. Uh, it's probably spacing specific whether it's gapless, but it's still cheap. <laughs> like, it, you know, giving some air DP characters a slight chance at life. I don't know about that. gonna go use the restroom real quick before uh, Grand's starts. Looks like they're they are about like six minutes into their match, so it's gonna be uh, uh, a little bit. I'm gonna stop him from jumping. Right. Yeah, I'll be right back.
Oh, you got cooked? I Moonbloom is both pretty good and uh, also like their Merkava is quite different than April. So if you're not like used to the ins and outs of Merc and you've only seen April basically, uh, it's gonna be rough. And like my my Merc isn't much help either because all I do is play Undernight with Merkava. But yeah, good stuff. All right, I'm gonna uh, make the room so we can play finals. That I do not want ranked. No, I, I do need to actually play ranked soonish. Um, uh, let me make sure I check in. But yeah, um, even though I am not a ranked enjoyer, uh, I want to just expose myself to like the wildness of how people uh, might play just to do a little bit of uh, prep for Slashback because that's in uh, two weeks. So getting myself uh, in the mindset of being able to deal with uh, creatures is going to be good for me. So I'll definitely stream that. That is true. Not having a PNW team kill in grands. I don't know. Then again, I I like having like I like it when it's like me versus my local in grands because it just means me and my local were like better than everyone else that day. <laughs> Moonbloom just said, "If I win one game, I win in my heart." <laughs> And, but yeah, I, uh, ranked is for greater, like for getting like fundamentally better at the game, ranked is terrible. Uh, that's my opinion of every fighting game. Um, just running long sets with people as, uh, as much as you can is going to help you so much more. Um, that said, ranked is pretty good once you've already reached like, uh, you know, a certain skill level to be able to like iron out uh, first to two game plans. Yeah, exactly what CG's saying. All right, let's 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 do this. Yeah, yeah, when me and you uh, played to get top eight at Frosty's, uh, that was sick. It's like, yeah, the locals are so good that we're going to meet up late in bracket at a major. That's awesome. All right, let's do this. I don't know what this person is doing.
Yeah, once Merc had meter, I was just gonna start playing, doing the BG's block soon. Yeah, this is Grands. So first to three. Uh, I'm on winner's side at the moment. Um, um, hopefully keeping it that way. Uh, that's what I get for not properly confirming my combo. I messed up the, the shield. I purposely dropped that combo to not give him 100 meter and also to steal the cycle. Oh, nice. All right, let's blow off as much of that timer as we can. GG's. I mean, like, uh, Moonbloom does not have um, a ton of experience against Yuzu, and uh, I'm probably the most Merc experienced Yuzu around. Like, so like I, I had a huge advantage going in. Like as a like fighting game to fighting game player, we're, we're closer than that looked. That, that was just like a significant gap in like player knowledge of uh, how the, the two characters interact. Um, let's...
Yeah. But uh, I am glad that you guys were able to be here for this. Uh, sorry, I haven't streamed in a while, but uh, like I was mentioning at the beginning of uh, the stream, um, it's been a mix of being busy with work and also being busy with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So um, hopefully you guys understand. <laughs> Uh, Rebirth has been pretty fun. Uh, I'm like probably halfway-ish into the game. I, I still got a lot of game. Hey, yeah, good games. And uh, we'll, we'll definitely play like uh, more long sets and like get you used to how to fight this uh, fight this character. Because like I've learned how to play uh, against Yuzu as Merkava. So... I'm like really familiar with the spacings that Yuzu makes Merc suffer. So yeah, we'll, we'll play more for sure. Don't, uh... All right, so it looks like we can go ahead and report this. Bam, Merc is fun. Uh, eventually I do plan to like optimize my Uni 2 Merc because I do like playing him. Um, but there's just been so much to learn with Yuzu that uh, that's been the focus. Okay, so we can go ahead and close this. That's another really cool emote. <laughs> Thank you, Yoku. Uh, I need to report to the TOs. Oh, did the Deffy DQ? Oh, right. Uh, he, I, I think he was uh, running late or something because he played later in the bracket. Um, all right, so we're going to uh, kind of get into some bot review. I'm going to refill uh, my, my water real quick. But uh, yeah, I wanted to get some bot review out of the way to kind of help out my locals. So I'm gonna turn off the game in uh, in the meantime. And I'm gonna switch it uh, over to this. All right, so uh, give me uh, one sec to go refill my water and then we'll start the, rot the uh, VOD review. So it's going to get into it. So the first one here is, is uh, Davon versus Cloverwolf. Uh, Davon is uh, the Yuzu that uh, some of you guys have seen me um, uh, work with on the how to train a Yuzu uh, things that we've done. So let's just start with uh, round start. So, uh, I mean, right off the bat, I will say that... Um, Chaos uh, 236A and 6C both beat 100% of Yuzu's round start attacks. Um, so for the most part, round start as Yuzu, uh, if you think there's, they're going to be aggressive at all, you just kind of have to walk back. Um, uh, obviously, they don't want to like always do the same thing. So later on in rounds, you end up like going forward or entering stance right away. But just know that like if you enter stance or if you jump, you can just straight lose round start. Um, jump back doesn't lose to 236A, but it does lose to 236B. 
Um, actually, I'm going to reboot the game so I can um, show what I mean on some of these things. Right, I'm just going to go to training mode real quick. And then I'll switch the screen over so you guys can see as well. Alright, let me, let me switch over here. Okay, so round start. This beats every uh, one of your grounded attacks. And this will uh, beat you trying to go into the air. So round start, just walking back, pretty good. Just until you've established that this isn't so free. Or like, they don't want to just do this right away. Because if they get rid of this, they have to start uh, trying to like frame trap with uh, stuff like that. Um, uh, things that will allow you to, um, to kill the dog. Hey, is the input for the flame different now? Oh, that, that's what it is. Yeah. Um, okay. But, uh, other things. So, uh, this you just need to go into training mode with, uh, against chaos. But, like, you see the little, uh, icon here. I'm gonna mouse over it. So, uh, as soon as, uh, Ozzy becomes active, it goes red. The entire time that is re that he is red, you can kill him with an A button. So, let me... Dude, 2A. It kills the dog. The risk, of course, is doing that. He, he can frame trap with specials. So what you want to be doing is a mix of uh, shielding. This is like really safe because he doesn't have any overheads. Um, shielding is how you prevent Chaos from uh, gaining Vorpal. You really don't want Chaos to have Vorpal. Um... And also be be mindful of the spacing, because like this, you're not really going to be able to uh, beat unless it was like spaced pretty poorly, right? Um, as a like call out, I won't necessarily kill the dog um, if if you think that uh, he's gonna no cancel, and you want to like really uh, be aggressive, you just enter a stance after blocking something. So, like, you would go into her uh, 236B, for example. So, he kills the dog, makes uh, Chaos have to block. Uh, the move that you attack Ozzy with does not matter too much. In general, you don't want to pr uh, press something that is um, too slow. So like that's why like I'm favoring 2A because it's like a pretty high reaching mid. And also uh, the other ways that I kill Ozzy are like jump back JC when I'm like calling out certain gaps. Um, or I'll just enter stance with 236B. But yeah, that, that's just like some basics on uh, Ozzy stuff. We'll, we'll go over more uh, as we watch the set. So let me uh, mute this and... Uh, Go over to this. Alright. Okay, so like if you ever find yourself in this spot, you're already holding stance, right? So, uh, this happened, not a big deal. Uh, what you want to do here is uh, stance dash forward or teleport. Stance dash forward is the, is the safest thing. And I'm gonna go to uh, the game to kind of explain why. Um, so if uh, if Yuzu is in the air, I'm gonna try to just have her jumping. Um, it's like kind of hard to have the dog exactly where I want it, but like. 
if you're up here, uh, that is the angle that uh, two three six B can anti you with, um, and it so like it hits you there. Um, let me see if I can just set up a recording. I'll do a double jump and then just do that. Okay, that, that will be my recording. One, two, okay. Let's do that. Uh, let me time it better. See, it whiffs. And uh, Aussie specials um, have a lot of whiff recovery. If you ever do a movement like that and then notice it, it teleports, Odds are you can whiff punish. So, um, what you want to be doing is not necessarily uh, attacking to hit chaos in this matchup. You are wanting to move such that it is really hard for him to hit you. Because if he ever whiffs, you are almost always capable of a whiff punish. You won't get it every time, that doesn't matter. But just knowing that, um, you can whiff punish him if he whiffs with Ozzy is really important. And it's like extra important when um, when Chaos has Vorpal. Uh, where is it? Here we go. So if I'm gonna go over here just to really show the example. Once Chaos is in Vorpal, you can whiff cancel at all his uh, moves. So it becomes way harder to whiff punish him if he can whiff cancel everything. He is vulnerable during these whiff cancels, but yeah. Um, so Chaos himself does not protect Ozzy. Um, just like right now when I'm just kind of moving around, look at how the icon is uh, green at the moment. Uh, you can't hit, uh, you can't kill the dog right now. And even when I'm, like, moving him, he can't, um, he, he can't be hit. He can only be hit on recovery of moves. And, like, some moves are, you, you, you see, uh, how some moves have significantly longer recovery that he's vulnerable. So like this has a lot of recovery. This has very little. This has like medium amounts. And you, you see like like this one, not vulnerable, not vulnerable, attacks, becomes vulnerable for a little bit. Yeah, like you, you, you do have to like really act on when the dog is uh, vulnerable. Um, but like you don't always want to go for it just because he can frame trap. Like that that can happen and chaos will get a full combo from this. And then from here, chaos can like run full screen and, and OTG. Uh, he, you will get taken to the corner from eating an Aussie starter. So yeah, um, important things with this matchup are movement uh, above all. Uh, let, let's go back to the video. Yeah, hold on, I'm, I'm gonna go back here real quick. So uh, you press 5A. 2A probably would have killed this. Like 2A is hits deceptively high. Like if you're gonna press an A button against Ozzy, press 2A. Yeah, uh, so like Chaos is technically a puppet character, but it's really just that his specials are all tied to the dog and the dog, um, uh, the dog doesn't really move uh, very independently of chaos. 
Like for for the dog to move forward, Chaos has to be holding down a button, which means he can't use that button. Um, and he can't. You can't move Ozzy while concentrating or anything like that. Like, it's really just like the lightest a puppet character can get while still technically qualifying. Nice. I like you going for that. Nice. I like that. Uh, Rachel, do you know how to pick up if you score a raw flip? Um, it's just uh, the safest thing you can do off of... Uh, no, nah, no, nah, uh, 66B is like trying too hard for like max damage. I'll, I'll show you the, the like the easy pickup. So let, let me switch uh, characters here. All right. So, and let's have guard all and jumping. So, oh no, no, not guard all, just jumping. So if, if you land uh, flips from anywhere, just do that. See, it's okay damage. You can do it from the air. You can technically do more, but a lot of times flip gives you weird angles and you won't like, you'll have like two C whiff or five C whiff. Two B is like your safety button. This is. This will always be worse damage, technically, but it's the most consistent thing. See, even space, it still works. So. Yep, it's active for a long time. Uh, it hits uh, both sides. Uh, it, it hits pretty reliably, regardless of the side. So yeah, only every now and then will you get the really cursed uh, 2B where you end up jumping in the wrong direction. Um, but like for the most part, it's your most stable pickup. So I'm just going to go uh, back here. Um, like really be aware of your range here. Um, whiffing a slash against uh, chaos is certain death most of the time. Um, so one thing to, to like really be aware of, the, of like how Ozzy wants or how chaos wants to play is they want to be very safely um calling Ozzy. So I'm gonna switch back over to uh chaos here. Okay, so this is like uh, it is pretty good, right? Uh, I'm gonna turn off the that and this. Okay. So you know this this type of thing is really good but you're liable to get hit. This is, you know, 15 frames and there's characters with, at this distance, having 12 frame moves that just reach. So, what Chaos players will like to do is this. He can do the same specials in the air. So, knowing that Chaos wants to do things in the air, should inform how you press uh, buttons like 236B. And it will make it so that a lot of times you don't necessarily even want to do it, even if you're technically in range right at the moment, 
you'll instead want to like jump forward while blocking to kind of scope out the situation and then maybe do a uh, 2 3 6 B in the air. So that's something to consider is uh, like being careful of uh, when you enter stance and like really trying to not enter stance too much while Ozzy is around. And if you're gonna enter stance with Ozzy around, enter stance with teleport. Make it C teleport or B teleport as your like go to at the beginning because they're going to be what makes uh, Ozzy whiff the most. Yeah, uh, teleport is just another way to enter stance. And like, since uh, Chaos likes to do stuff like that, if you happen to do B teleport, he's gonna be in the air right above you. You finish your teleport and then you'll press 2FF and then just murder him. So. Yeah. All right, let's go back to the set here. Yeah, I like that. No, this, uh, okay, um, this is just, I'm, I'm not gonna go into uh, the, the specifics here, but if you ever land that, just the regular force function, uh, you can pick up with 2C and just do the regular BNB. Uh, you can't do anything too optimal, like you can't um, just make it the most basic <clears throat> BNB from there. But yeah, you, you should be getting like around like 2.5, 2.8 from it. Nice. So uh, I don't know w whether or not you realized it when you were doing it here. Uh, since I already mentioned that uh, uh, Chaos wants to call Ozzy uh, from a safe spot, a very common defensive option is jump into Ozzy call. So doing preemptive 6A, preemptive 5C, preemptive 2FF is really good against this character. No, don't do that. Um, if you're going to, um, it works, but I'm, I'm scared. He, he, he's, he's too close. Uh, so you, you see this, uh, this move right here, that's his five BB. And then he was about to go into his five CC. He has two normals that whiff cancel and mo both move him forward. It makes, uh, two one four C extremely inconsistent. And he wasn't able to punish you, but he can get a dash 6C starter. And, and that's just like another moment of, like, if you would have teleported, this uh, would be uh, a lot harder for him. Nice. Character, um, and knowing like what the dog can do and when, like understanding how to read his little icon over there, um, which will tell you the, the state of the dog. The dog has break the law. Like there's just a lot of stuff. Going Ooh, on. that was scary. If the Clover Wolf absolutely could have just punished that. Quite good for Yuzu specifically is if you can find gaps in the dog 
Crusher from the full screen, just teleport. Oh, if you yeah. can just teleport, like, do the teleport, like, you teleport that goes above Chaos. Bugs all the way over there. You have, you have two marks to use to, like, you know, RPS around you. Chaos cannot just, like, stop you. Even just doing, like, jumps. Ooh, see, I've been trying to challenge yeah. because Papa Dog is in. You could do, like, the aggro option, too, where you jump back and then, uh, A, teleport to go right behind them. Nice. If he's trying to do, like, a dog. Yeah, see, in general, like, big forward moving attacks is, are good ways to approach. Nice. Uh, if if you ever uh, encounter that trait again, you can pick up with two C. Yeah, I don't think that would have killed. So I I, I do not at all blame you for uh, <clears throat> reacting like that, or for not uh, going for it. All right. Yeah, I, I don't have too much uh, more to say. Like, just incorporate the stuff uh, I mentioned, and um, like fighting chaos will be uh, a lot easier. Uh, I can uh, I can definitely do VOD review on like fighting Yuzu at a base level. Um, like DM me a um, a VOD, preferably just like a first to two, um, and we can uh, go from there. But uh, just as like a very quick, I'll I'll just give uh, a really quick. Um, crash course on fighting yuzu so if you if if she is um the like kind of universal thing that um people need to learn is uh, i'm gonna con take control of yuzu here uh like none of these things really deal much chip if any right So you, you see, this is the max chip you're ever going to be taking. And so, uh, it is perfectly safe against Yuzu um, to every now and then just hang back and do purple shields. You don't want to be uh, green shielding because that's how she gets grid. So farming this for grid goes a long way. Uh, every character will have some kind of metered option that can help you play much better neutral. So, like, it is so important to be trying to get resources to fight her at the beginning. And this is the absolute best way to do it. The other side effect of farming grid against Yuzu is if she realizes that, that uh, you're not going to run in at her, that means she can't zone you. That means she has to run in. If she runs in, suddenly you're on a more even playing field and you can suddenly start challenging with your own things. So that is like at the base level, understand that um, it is okay to not be trying to chase her down the entire time. You, are, you have 99 seconds and it is not losing to hang back and see what she likes to do. Like, I'm going to set crouching and guard all and control that. So even if you're shielding, uh, low shielding while crouching, look at this. This is a mid. This is a mid. This is a, uh, if I can get it to connect. Yeah. That is a mid. That's a mid. 
That's the, all of them are mids. You can crouch block while she's in stance in the air. Um, so it is relatively safe to be doing this as long as she's in stance. Like recognize what she looks like when she's in stance. This is stance. This is not stance. Stance. Not stance. Because in the air, this, um, as you can see, that, these are overheads. But once I enter stance, these are mids. So, uh, farm grid, if you, like, you probably saw it in uh, my set versus Squish. Uh, he was farming grid off of me so much, I got forced to go in and then just play strike throw and like just more of a mid-screen game at about this spacing. Um, and you're gonna uh, do a lot better at that point, because then you can just play m more normal underneath. So, uh, hopefully that was helpful. Let's switch back over. We're going to watch uh, CG versus Taters. And yeah, it, it's useful in the mirror as well because it makes it so that you don't have to be as worried about uh, taking your turn back like right away. You can just kind of relax. Yeah, that is a pretty good Wagner color, I agree. Uh, I, I want to see how you got opened up. Okay, I'm glad that the Taters started uh, dash blocking, but uh, mashed too quick after the, the dash block. I just need to show dash block a bit earlier. Yeah, so you get a uh, chain shift here. Overhead, great nice. Peter's going to get the full punish here. Send CG to the corner. Jet buffs up. Pressure starts now. Two, three, six feet. Nice. And a great two I'm, up the run forward. I'm glad that you were not uh, scared here. CG for moving in, doing anything silly. Cashes out the two, two, C. No more buffs on the table, but ta or CG is burning. That is a lot of damage. So here, I, like... If I am pressuring CG, I'll probably try and bait a reaction out of him. He's blocked a decent amount, built a good amount of grid. I would probably try like a walk forward, walk back and see what he does. Because I'm expecting a mash real soon. Yeah. So I just gotta like, th th this is like kind of really hard to um, explain, but people are only gonna put up with blocking for so long. And yeah, she she's right here. Uh, this is this is Canela. She's a sweetie, and uh, she likes hanging uh, on the backside of my office chair. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm petting her. <laughs> She, uh, and every now and then when I uh, am without a hat, she likes licking my head. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, but uh, what I was saying here is, um, it's kind of hard to explain, but um, yeah, people are only gonna put up with blocking so long before you can kind of expect some kind of uh, dice roll. And so, it becomes riskier and riskier to keep uh, resetting pressure and it becomes a lot better and better to go for like spacing traps uh, after a certain point. Yeah, like, I mean, even Big Black will, is only going to block so long. He's just way better at hiding uh, when he's going to mash. Putting 
So, yeah, like, right here, your pressure is great. You got the green shield whiff. Uh, got this. And I liked the doing 5B no cancel. Um, but you have to just be willing to give up a turn against a player of CG's caliber. Uh, the, the, the stuff I'm saying is not, like, Tsurugi based it is like fighting game player based it is better to sometimes let them take their turn and knowing that they can't open you up because they took their turn on your terms if they do it on your terms you're not going to get opened up and they're going to stay cornered and then you, you when you take your turn back it's going to be that much more effective like that was absolutely a spot to just down back let cg move at, and um, instead of getting back all that momentum, like if you watched uh, crossover, you will see how much at the top level, like the players are purposefully giving up turns, even on plus frames, just because they don't want to lose momentum. Yeah, you're dead. All right, um, so I'm going to teach you some super secret tech. So you can't punish this, right? But it is pretty minus. Uh, take this opportunity to, to run throw RPS. Don't just press your, your button that reaches from this range that won't punish. Run up to, to throw range and either throw or strike or assault A strike throw character just won the most stacked bracket possibly of the year. I, I'm not going to have any of that. <laughs> yeah, like... Um, so, uh, kind of going back to like the taking more advantage than what you necessarily deserve. Um, if you show that, uh, from like minus seven, you're willing to just run up and run through RPS, it'll make it so that in the future, um, if you're in a similar spot, you can just press your like six B and you might counter hit them trying to challenge your approach. Like you gotta like give people more reasons to mash. And nothing gets people to mash quite like showing them that you're going to take plus seven and and use that to run up for 30 frames and then assault. Oh, that is not what CG wanted. CG just runs up and DPs Taters in the corner. Taters gets the side swap into the full punish. Yeah, in a game like Undernight, no one ever wins by playing safe. I mean, that, that, that's exactly what it is. It's like forcing someone to make decisions in spots where they weren't necessarily wanting to make a decision. Because, like, blocking spaced mids isn't really forcing a decision. Giving them something that is, like, really hard to react to is... So, that, like, that, that is my recommendation from watching this. It's nothing really Tsurugi related. It is uh, be willing to, like, show that you don't have fear. Um, 
I'm going to skip this one because I don't think Casey nor Clover Wolf really wanted review. Uh, I did skip over. Um, uh, I'm going to uh, check which of the VODs. Um, which of the VODs uh, Alice wanted me to look at? Okay, so it's this one. All right, we're, we're going to go in, into that one here. Yeah. Um, let's backtrack. Okay. Okay, so that we don't get to see the, the very start. Yeah, uh, DM it to me on Discord or Twitter is fine. Um, if you can't DM me on Twitter, then, um, and you don't see me on Discord, um, like just at me or something. I mean, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in the main uh, Undernight server, so I'm I'm pretty easy to find. Announced the um the knowledge check matchup, which yeah. by the way, for those not aware who are interested in watching watching this vod live or even a couple days in the future, uh, we have a really great uh, set of knowledge check matchups. So I like that a lot, actually. The the backdash here is very smart. Live or even a couple days in the future, uh, we have a really great uh, set of um right here so you really want to be uh playing smart around the cycle like here uh if you play it correctly there is nothing merkava can possibly do to win this cycle so don't move back too much and don't give uh them the ability to shield something because a single shield right there steals the cycle so just be aware you're usually fighting for marginal gains here but it adds up over time um it is okay to block merkava that has no meter and no worms and no cs you'll get your turn back like almost right away so and holding your ground here so yeah holding your ground here even if you don't want to give them too much uh, opportunity to mash, just like down back here is going to be uh, so helpful. Uh, set of first to five, I believe, showcases yeah, in Uni 2 this Thursday on Hop on PNW. The, I guess I don't, I don't want to call it the title match because I think a lot of them are really great matches, but uh, the. Let me see. Um. Yeah, setting the the worm there is tricky because all you can do at most is send out a six B. Uh, but like, try to learn uh, this animation though. That, if recognize that animation, uh, that does not have a hitbox. It is a very unique animation that uh, is only for the worms, so it can't ever be confused with anything else. Uh, if you do that, he is like. Minus 30 minimum. Uh, time to just run all the way in. Like I'd be doing a big dash and then do like a 6-6-C as soon as it, I'm close enough. I'm going to say, because of the win here, proven correct. Yes. Whoever made the matches, I believe their name is M Maurs. Very smart human being. <laughs> nice, great tech. Uh, anyway, my point is that when those matches were... Whoever All right, so matches, something that I want you to do when you get Maurs. the chance Very smart. <laughs> is practice shielding Merkava's fireballs. Because, anyway, like, you keep shielding pr before the fireballs would connect, and um, you want to shield just before... And if and if they're charged fireballs, you can shield twice and get a lot of grid. When those matches were announced, and that really helps uh, with this matchup. For help in this matchup in particular. Oh, okay. So I actually do think that it's impressive. Oh, yeah. You gotta be careful. 
I mean, no combo, but still, getting grid broken feels so bad. I mean, it is bad. No assault. Yeah, right? ass assault JC is so good in this matchup. <laughs> we saw it attempted right there, actually. See, um, yeah, Tekken, Tekken will be on stream uh, as soon as this bracket ends. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, a lot of the advantage and disadvantage here really just came down to cycle decisions. Um, a lot of the things you're not really playing that bad. It's just um, you need to take every like mini advantage you can get against Merkaba. Uh, holding purple shield does not cost any grid at all. Just uh, especially against fireballs, just hold it. Uh, exception, don't do that against phonon. Phone on players love to uh, uh, catch people down shielding um, her fireballs by doing a 2 2 C from full screen just before the fireball would connect to grid break you. Um, but yeah, it is totally fine to do it early. Uh, just be aware of characters like Phone on that can kind of mess with you. But like, for the most part, it's pretty okay. Grand finals after this first to three, and then we'll be seeing Tekken. So you'll miss the first probably two rounds of Tekken. Yeah. But after that, you we'll get, get all of top eight. Most, of, most, most, if not all of top eight. Yeah. Good defensive veil off. Ooh, That's fine. Jump over on the command throw. No punish. Nice. Veil off just taken away. Had, oh wow. That yeah. Be so um. Ooh, the jump over if you uh, this this is like really kind of fringe knowledge. Um, if you happen to see this uh, happen. Um, air assault because that catches your landing recovery. Um, 214C is similar to his 214A, but 214A is flagged to never hit an airborne opponent unless it's in a combo. It's 214C can and tier and is really fast. So if you see that and you still have an air action, air assault to make it whiff. And like, at full screen, that is the only thing that Merkaba would possibly be doing. He's not going to do DP from that range. So, like, don't don't overthink it. Yeah, oh, wow, that it's not like this is, like, super bad. It's only 2K, but, like, still. Bruit giving you the practice is really useful. Oh! oh. The TK6B! TKJ6B going oh. over the 2A match. Okay, I was so scared that the shield on that JC was going to get punished, but didn't get the shield in the second hit, so... Alice escapes with its life. Tries to anti air with the 236. Yeah. Work, and then, yep, the classic Without already having a bunch of like uh, stuff on the ground, it's really hard to jump against Merkaba. It, it's, it's no longer low reward. April going to close out the first game there for them. Yeah. Looks, looks pretty convincing, too, actually. Uh, I. I Carmine really needs... Nice. Okay, you're back to neutral, so this is fine. Um, so, Merkava did 2FF. Uh, your wake-up shield, both of them are pretty fine options. Um, I would be a little careful of wake-up down shield against Merc, just because wake-up 6-6-C could happen. But, like, overall, this isn't, like, bad. Pressure started to look like the top, like, three character that he is. Right? Um... So I've seen you use a lot of six BB when uh, after you've he's already uh, in the air. Yeah, like that. Um, leave the puddle. Six uh, BB is not worth uh, giving up the puddle. Um, having the ability to just send a sixty three and air unblockable him is worth it. And even if you're uh, he. Uh, he ends up blocking the blockable parts of 623. Um, you still get to run all the way in, especially if he blocks it in the air, because then instead of the plus 14, um, you get like plus 20, plus 30, something like that. So yeah, just don't, uh, when against airborne Merkaba, don't do 6BB. You want the puddle. The puddle is what like makes neutral better for you. Yes, he looks good. Like he's fast. He's got okay. But am I really? Um, right there. Pressure started to look. Like Remember that uh, six six C is really good. Yeah. Right here, six six C will just send him to the ground. Like uh, I know it's scary just because uh, six six C technically doesn't have anterior properties, but it's broken. It's so good. You just gotta, you just gotta do it. Like, like this, he looks good. Like he's fast. 
fast, he's got okay buttons, but got some good neutral tools. It's something it spectacular. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But it's a situation like this. this. Yes. Unfortunate air hit. Oh, and the cheek hit dive kick. Gonna catch out half cast yeah. pressure. That was yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're putting it into your muscle memory already. I thought that was the plus on block DP. That was the minus on block DP. It's some fell apart because they have the exact same animation. Um, <laughs> but then Alice sees that April didn't. Well, with the command throw, but who, who cares? Oh my goodness. Full combo. Yeah, that, that shit's cheap. 2.5k into the bomb setup. Command throw wins on the real starter. The double J, the CK J6B. Yeah, it's a fun thing. It's, it's pretty good. Actually. Nice. Oh my god, the 6 this, this is enough to kill. This is enough to kill for yeah, sure. Yeah, as long as it doesn't drop. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Spend the meter. I yeah, good one. stuff. You, you could tell Alice was... Okay, I was trying to route to not have to, but yeah. recognize, like, no, I do, actually. And then makes the wise call to defend it. Oh! Yeah. The assault throw for the grid break. This is going to be a tough hill to climb. And that was a fly assault, too, so you yeah. didn't even have to whip the button to do it. You, 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 had, you didn't have the assault downside of being inactionable. Uh-huh. Okay, the worm. It's just a single worm, so it's not too threatening. Yep. You really don't get, like, a good Nice. Grid. Getting some good grid. Yeah. I like wow. that. Wow, what a great call. Out. call out. See, yeah. th see, that's that's some very Mer like anti Merkava knowledge. Yeah, right? that that's a specific like I know what you're gonna press in this situation. I like that back dash a lot. Call, but nothing out of it. Yes. Yeah, Hold on. Very Mer like anti Merkava. I, I want to yeah, look at where the puddle was and see if two two C would have worked. Oh, uh, you don't have meter. Never mind. Never mind. You don't have meter. This is definitely a height where 2-2-C would just own him. Yeah, CS is, doesn't get anything out of it. Has meter to combo off it. Uh, you might That's die here. Well. This combo is okay. I, no, this is death. This is death. I'm oh, sorry. just barely I'm not. So right. <laughs> this is... Yeah. Listen, I know, my, I know my damage, okay? I I thought that was death, but uh, it had a super earlier in the combo, so uh, the scaling was worse. It didn't work. It, the fireball just wins. I know my damage. So, um, right here, this charge 6B does trade, but you keep the puddle. Oh. Block that, and then immediately 63, I, I really... and that you end up anti airing him. Um, you gotta, like, really establish, like, puddle 63 uh, when he lands to, like, really check his movement and force Merkava to use more risky movement. Because if you're doing 6-2-3 there, uh, Merc's only real option is 6-6-C to, like, really bypass the puddle. I like the charge 6 speed. I'm surprised it didn't work. It, the fireball just wins. Yeah. The fireball has more hits. <laughs> <laughs> so was that bomb set? No, uh, uh, that, that, that was just 6-B. Maybe? It just it happened like to hit the extender hurt box of Merc 5-C. Because it hit the extender hurt box, I, the, I puddle saw the puddle stayed there, yeah. yeah. Nice. This bomb set is a lot slower. You're right. Like, like borderline reactable slow, you know? Oh, FF? FF? Yeah. Yeah, blood yeah. gel. All right, get it going. That is one of the really nice things that Carmine has access to is that if you're in full screen. Oh! Is that a, was that another, like, hard Merc call out or was it a happy accident? No, no, accident? no, no, no. That was a happy accident. So the reason it happened is April was greedy and went for the much more difficult. Yeah, this can kill if you route correctly. Higher reward reversal in 2 yeah. It's just not that it, it loses invincibility frames very early into the enemy. Yeah, not yeah. too much to say on that round. Like the Carmine FF is going to like keep you alive there. Nice. Still, you know, wins the round. Uh, just off another stray hit. The 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 sign of like a great uni player is always how they manage to turn these dumb hits in the dumbest scenarios into 4k damage yeah into 4k damage into oki and yeah. into like the corner pressure right? you know you and i are getting 800 damage there they're getting 4k that's, that's yeah yeah this is rough um i, I want to i'm gonna ha have a better look at this so I, after you got this combo you know wins the round uh just off another stray hit the, nice. The sign of like a great uni player is always how they manage to turn these dumb hits. Okay, so just a uh, combo drop, yeah, not a huge deal. Okay, so you're in this situation. You did wake up chain shift, and Merkava is in the air. Here you can do nothing because there is no puddle on the ground. You really don't have much in terms of options. 
at most, you can set uh, a force function puddle safely. That That is the most that you can do. Or, or a 6B. Because, like, even if at most you take a single fireball, you're not going to um, get much here. Uh, running in is fine, but that is, is what you have to be uh, watching out for. Um, that's why I like... Uh, m taking a more marginal um, advantage and just like getting a puddle out. They're, they're getting 4K. That's, that's... Yeah. Like occasionally you'll hit one of those and feel like the smartest person on the planet. Oh yeah. But uh, you know these guys are just getting them all the time. Yeah. Half guy tried to go for a 2CP call out. Not gonna work. And yes. There's a uh, okay. So this you just need to practice. Oh yeah. But, um. Uh, you know, so if Merkava ever does the, the 5AB, there is no mix here. You just fuzzy block. He can hit high, but there's no, he can't delay the high. So just practice blocking that to never get hit there. This is actually one of the new things that has really buffed Merkava that he didn't that have the, to the teleport in. Yeah, all, all that does is, is make him, okay. make him yeah. safe. Okay, uh, but the there's problem. no mix to be had there. There's the mix in the corner! She has been working on this mix for weeks. That, that is like, that weeks, that's like months yeah. of grinding that exact situation. All to bring it out when she needs it mode. Okay. Good blocks, good, good shield too. Yeah. Have to sing it um, exact yeah, just in general here. All to bring it out. Uh, like three B is really good, but like like we were saying earlier, do more six six C because if that had been um, like f uh, jump into flight, you might not have caught him. Uh, six six C just covers way more options. When she needs it most. Good, good shield too. Yeah. Halfcat did not recognize the shield in time. Went for an option that works Ooh. well if they don't. Yeah, I like those shields. Uh, you got to move forward a little bit. In the corner. No problem just hanging out back here for now. 6 BB. Yep. Again, it's really scary, right? Merkava has CS and does a reverse. Oh, that was. I was surprised that that 2C didn't catch her back dash. That was scary. April wasn't ready for it. Then in the week. Nice. Oh. Yeah, you haven't shown that yet. I like variety there that's really good what, what, my calendar's broken what year is this because i i think it's 2024 right and you're getting caught by charge jc 2a in 2020 to be in 2020 uh, it happens it happens to everyone i'm i'm not even gonna judge april too much on that that this is so scary i don't think this is enough to kill even with the really high minimum damage iw i don't yeah yeah this can't kill has cs2 though 4K damage, CS, 100 meter on deck, has every tool that they need. Half Cat wants a rehearsal so bad. Yes. Don't. Also wins the cycle. So, um, this is something that I've noticed uh, just about a lot of players have this weakness. So, um, I don't want to um, make it sound like you're doing horribly for has doing CS2, this. So, damage, like, CS, in a moment, you're going to build, every... uh, you're going to win this cycle thanks to that good shield. Right? And I understand wanting to do reversal or uh, do chain shift uh, and hope for a reversal opportunity, but a smart player is looking out for that and is not going to give you something to reversal through when you do it. So you just have to uh, send something out. Like right here, like, uh, six six uh, the dash force function. Do something to make them block instantly. Um, do some kind of non uh, chain shift challenge, even though it's scary because you're going to get. Uh, right now you have the advantage. The instant you chain shift, you are losing that advantage. Yeah, you you have to just send it. Uh, chain shift gives them the uh, the notice to. Like, hey, analyze this situation. Make the smartest play from here. But when you uh, do it live in the moment without the screen freeze, it is so much harder to make the correct decision. 
and that's what you need to take an, uh, an advantage of. Um, preemptive, so like my rule of thumb for chain shifts are early in the round, chain shift instantly just to get meter because you need meter to be able to threaten a lot of defensive options. You need it uh, for guard thrust and you need it for uh, veil off, right? Um, once you're at 100 meter, you no longer need to be chain shifting that way. Um, chain shift sometimes, sure, um, but instead you can just leverage the fact that you could do it to then get away with something else. So bad. Yes. And then also win the cycle. No! no! It's okay. Yeah. yeah. She has almost all her media back already. Yeah. The, the big thing is, I think, losing the CS. Yeah, losing CS. Oh, the that would have killed. That, that would have killed, killed yeah. That, with the force function up. No, not safe, not oh, safe. Oh, too close. Yeah, they were, you weren't close that, enough for the DP for uh, the, the dissolve puddle. Spacings, that close, no shot. I think you can be plus for the spacings, even. Straight hit, nothing out of it. And yeah, oh, just the reversal. this is the, the hated reversal, right? Nice. Yeah. The less hated, the more also annoying reversal gets caught low. Yep. Into the full combo. Kind of nice, actually, that the, the 6C, like the charge 6C overhead, also just confirms the 2B hit. Barely whiffs the charge 6C. We'll so, um, yep. I, I'm not, nice, I, don't, I don't have anything against this meaty here, uh, but at this point in the bracket, you've gotten veiled off by April at least two times already. Um, you need to kind of be aware of, like, where someone's, like, uh, mental state is at and be willing to give up a turn if it means potentially uh, killing them for trying to veil off. Uh, like there's no way to know for sure that this is about to happen, but like th this is a clutch moment in a match and April has shown willingness to do this in these moments before. Um, yeah, like just, you have to, uh, listen to what they're actually doing. Uh, even if you like successfully baited them in a previous game, uh, only pay attention to what they're doing in this game. And in this game, they've veiled off the, this is the third time. He, like a charge 60 overhead also just confirms the 2B hit. Barely whiffs the charge 6 B into, yep, spend the rest of the VO. Get the full combo. Not gonna get worms. No worms, but does have cycle. I like that blood rain just to get him out of the air. Yeah, yeah. It it works too. Uh, are you like dead? The way you, that you would need to play nah. to make that lose is usually going to like make. Yeah, no meter. Two and four season class. Of course, not a true reversal. No. But, but yep, dive kick CS. Yeah, just goes for the five A meaty. Got a lot of patience on defense here. Just yep. looking for a good opportunity. Okay, now cycle oh, celestial. Force function. And also, so you keep the celestial buff the entire time you're in the transfer state. Yes. So this so is that's huge a damage. Lot of damage. No, you don't. One more hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it takes the VO. No, no. no. Uh, I want to verify that because here you're gonna get. Just yep. looking for a good opportunity. Okay, now cycle oh. celestial. No, s single overhead. So here. Force function. And also, so, so you you're getting bonus damage here, but the bonus damage has already ended. Time you're in the transfer state. Yes. So this That's is huge a damage. Lot of damage. One more hit. Fuzzy over mid screen. Oh, it takes the VO. VO. Nice. No, no, no. Oh, that actually would have killed if uh, April got all eight hits. Yep, I like just wait out, wait out the, the chain shift, wait out the VO. Ooh, charge six B, trying to catch flight. Yes. Nice. Okay, I like that. No bias, no bias, by the way. Well, it's not about the bias for me. It's more so I just really hate when a really basic drop like like that costs you a game. That, that you know? feels bad. That costs feels a set. awful. It costs. Yeah, you're right. Would it cost a set? Would that feels been? awful. Ooh, oh my goodness. Air. Get Guilty the Gear. Too? Guilty Gear Strive 5A anti air. <laughs> oh wow, the assault over the 6B. Nice. Oh, and the punish with the JC. You ain't you ain't Guilty Gear. Kafka has those. You don't. I'm sorry. Yeah. April, you gotta, this, this is why April is playing today. Uh, probably Aki, but like in general, when I do VOD review, I don't care too much about uh, uh, the combos. It's mostly other decisions that matter. Oh, 
this is, uh, I was going to say, wow, the wheel actually does work as an anti-air. Yeah, it's not bad. You know, it just covers so much space. Yeah, I mean, once you have a puddle out, wheel is so strong, right? Because it covers the space in front of you. Nice the block. Goes along the ground, oh, he command throwing Mega. April into the corner. Into the she corner. And gets the hit. Low. All right. Let's say, that is a combo that I, I, Alice is not dropping, right? Yeah, Capcat does not want to drop a, a set to April today. Yep. Good. good nice. Defense. Good Great attack defense. on the gold throw. No punish, but able to... Oh. Yeah. Try, April tried to throw tech bait twice. Tafka didn't fall for it either time, but still gonna get the hit, and it's just barely enough to give them the cycle. Ooh, gets tagged. No, at, at the very least, it, no worm hits, and yeah, they were just looking for Vo. So oh, I'm glad that you didn't give it to him. Also very unfortunate. Uh, okay, so I want to talk about uh, that five B no cancel. Um, five B no cancel is really good when people are uh, wanting to just block. But uh, April has been doing shield into mash quite a lot. So be like, this is like against this player type when they're showing you that they're not really going to block for too long. You want to keep your pressure cleaner. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, also very unfortunate. A couple and like, like no, understanding when to uh, reset yeah. like that and when oh, not to that. just takes a lot more experience. For sure. Okay. Yeah, the wheel makes it really hard to actually punish that command grab, right? Especially, yeah, just the position that April is in, not really... Good block, throw, throw, throw. throw. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Stick so, the swing. for those who don't know, uh, that is punishable, that reversal is punishable only on shield. So the best thing to do if you're not Minus confident four. in getting the shield is just throw. Because you have to shield specifically the last hit. Yeah. Exactly. And that jump speed gets so, shielded. So, so which, which means you have to green shield the second to last hit exactly to get a punish. It's hard. It's really hard. And if hard. you accidentally green shield the last hit, Recover then gets to throw you. Uh, uh, I, I like what you were going for. Yeah. That unfortunately we're doesn't work. T2C is not fast enough. Yeah, yeah that would have worked oh, just reverse. done just a moment sooner, but it's hard. It's hard. Because uh, 2 c is like 15 frames, something like that. No, yeah, and you're losing all your grid. Nice. I like that anterior bait. And that gives Alice that gives Tech the cycle too. Yeah. April doing the command grab. Looking like the grid guzzler right now. The gridler. No. You're not close enough. I think even the other reversal would have been too slow. That's a safe jump actually. A safe jump to take advantage of the fact that you can close it out free one. Minimum damage on IW is so high. Um, but yeah, overall, not too bad. Yeah. Uh, like, the things that you lost to were, like, really small things that just added up to, like, a pretty big advantage for uh, April. Yeah, it, it wasn't the, the end-all, be-all. Yeah. It was right? largely just April making the right decisions on, especially defense. Built a set record in unit clear for work versus CG. It would also take up the full screen, but it would be all on one side of the screen, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, let's see. Get that game full yep. here. Grand finals here. I'm going to try to do it from this to help out April. CG choosing to play Surugi, notably, over in Kido. Yeah, I, is it a matchup decision? It's got to be, right? Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Uh, CG's just trying to get more matchup familiarity. Oh, wow, great match. Knowing? See, th this is Kido. Hold on. Let's, let's see what happened here. Is it a matchup decision? It's got to be, right? Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Maybe I mean, it's a player decision. So uh, I mean, so right here, um, Tsurugi is a five-frame character. As Merkava, if you're going to gamble, uh, gamble throw or gamble dive kick, um, you don't get to gamble with 2A, really. He has talked a lot. Oh, wow, great match. Knowing? See, th this is someone who has played Merkava so many times who knows you actually can match in between the worm hits there. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, no, no fear at all. Just knows. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy having her around quite a bit. He's in a character crisis right now. And he's not in one of like the And she's licking my hand a little bit. Not, not that you guys can see very well. <laughs> yeah, he has the good character crisis problem where he wants to play both characters. Yeah. I, I know he's got like some design choice. Oh! This, this route is so sick. A worm routing? A and that worm? is like. The actual April signature is oh no yeah. or, okay uh if you do this as Merkava I'm gonna po try and pause it you're you're flying you're flying this whiffs JB 
nothing like straight up just press jb even if you could probably get a combo but even if you don't doesn't matter just get that uh button out April loves their worm routing. I would say go and check out the worm routing on Twitter, but if you've seen the worm routing post on Twitter, don't check them out. That's all. If you know, you know. That's all I'm saying. Oh, oh no that would have that should have killed. Have this can it's kill. Do a lot of damage, but it's not gonna kill. Oh yeah, offer wall bounce. Good match. Yeah, the, the match. Listen, it's when, when you're back to the corner, it's mashing. extra hard. He's got some good mashing. <laughs> oh. oh. That's the other the start. Yeah, the round start to be succeed. It's it's so an good. eight frame. Move, it catches back dash. It catches I don't like that that spend. Back walk, it catches back jump. It's a yeah, you just gave up cycle. Yeah, it, it is extremely unfun. Yeah, I I yeah. I do not like that that two and four C. For a lot of characters, is to react to the super flash and reversal yourself. <laughs> nice. So I should let him having this exact interaction. Hilda has to VO. Merkava has to like two three six B. Or nice. I like the the drop there for the combo. Oh. This is much smarter grid play. Okay. I was thinking like a 6-6-B six, six would come out just to uh, crush the low. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, I, I definitely, I, I, I heard that the stream setup was, was kind of weird. Which is that's part of why like I'm not caring about drops or anything like that, right? Uh, I'm I'm only talking about decision making, and no matter how whack a stream setup is, that's not going to f affect your ability to make a decision. Matchup experience against Enkidu. I don't think they have much experience. Oh, you should have thrown. Against, against it, it is, it is so really throw is not a punish there, but if someone leaves themselves like minus three in your face. You have to show them that you're willing to take uh, some amount of um, you're, you're, that you're going to punish them for it. Like, make them have to gamble on a jump or something. You gotta like make people make decisions. If they uh, are safe to just block, then you are not making them uncomfortable. So much matchup experience against Enkidu. I don't think they have. Yeah, I, I'm gonna t uh, check real quick. What, how minus is is this? Uh, Salem Fighters, thank you so much for the raid. We are uh, doing some VOD review right now, and I'm checking some frame data on a situation. There we go. All right, so minus four. This is actually just straight up a throw punish. There's no reason not to throw him here. So yeah, and can he cancel? No, I'm. I can't even chain shift this. Yeah, can't do anything. There's no, there's no spe special cancel at all. This is, I'm, you can hear my, you can hear my, me mashing the shit out of this thing. Nah, like if you block this, take the, like just punish them. Yeah, like if, if you recognize the spacing. do that uh the the well this move uh has doesn't seem to even have a cancel like what what possible cancel do you have yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm saying for, for April. Like, 
when when you see April has so much matchup experience against Enkidu. I don't think they have Yeah, that that should have been a throw punish. Much experience at all. Exactly. Against against it is, it is almost a character pick like April Oh, the advancing the advancing force function. You know, the, the fact that you won that cycle is fucked up. Gets the hit too. Green shield tries to press a button after. Oh, th thank you, thank you. I'm 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 very bad at this. Yeah. Has the S on deck though, so it's very scary to press this right here. Look, look, look at. Oh. Just look at uh, your grid. This is m so messed up. So you're pressing force function, and you're you have not even uh, one and a half blocks. And then you won the cycle. That's messed up. That is so messed up. Yeah. Has CS on deck though, so it's very scary to pressure through here. Oh. <laughs> Gets the hit too. Green shield tries to press a button afterwards, it looks like. Yeah, that that you couldn't have thrown that. Corner pushback. Uh, I'm I'm gonna test real quick, but I'm pretty confident in saying that uh, corner pushback. Yeah, you can't throw this in the corner. Corner pushback is bigger than uh, mid screen pushback. Gonna spend the cycle because you're losing in four. Uh, you're asking if it's just from uh, Tsurugi moving forward during force function? Yes, it is absolutely. Uh, so moving forward gains you grid, uh, and also moving backwards loses you grid. So it was both of those things. Sure here. The one really nice thing for April, gonna get Celestial. So much damage here. Extra 300 damage, why not, right? And, you know, an extra 100 meter and all this damage still. IW, if this kills, I'm uninstalling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still did 5200 damage, oh, right? Oh, why did that side swap? That's a great question. Frames. Oh. oh hits. Not dead, but in an awful scenario. Only saving grace is April has CS. Yeah. yeah but all, all, all April can do here is chain shift. So, like, if if I'm April here, oh, wow, the hits. I wake not up dead. chain shift oh, knowing it's not going to do jack crazy. shit for my situation, yeah. but it's going to yeah, get uh, me to uh, 100 meter. Like, wake up with that, get, those two blocks will get you to the 100 meter mark. From there, you're going to be able to have more options. Well, the, the problem is that it doesn't have the meter to re threaten a reversal, right? As CG, you're not scared of the chain shift. No. Because if April chain shifts, and you're pressing a button, it's like, like the only reason damn, that's be, crazy. Be, be afraid of the chain shift is like... What <laughs> was that roll? Has to be careful now. Okay, spends green shield twice, so lost the <coughs> meter. No more yeah, reversal available. That was insane. There's the CS. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're game. Okay. Yo. Five seconds left. Oh, and the fire. Wait, oh, why didn't you wake up DP? That's actually really smart because if you just push the CG to full screen with five seconds left, you cannot lose. Yeah. Like, you actually cannot lose. You could just stall two seconds and then do two, three, six C and you'd be fine, right? I think Merkava 5B punishes that, but... Yeah. Charge 2C has a, a, a guard point frame and a, a decently generous one. Surugi's guard point can be a bit awkward, right? It's not super accurate. Yeah, I like the corner carry. Alright. Okay, go for the easy route because it was airborne. Yep. Nah. Yeah. Goes for the CDP as well. Like if if you're gonna um, yeah, so here, if you are going to um. Well, actually, you don't have meter. You have to actually just make this gapless. You have to like ch uh, cancel this into five A, and quit your pressure. Because that can happen. It is like such an important skill in this game to be able to bait uh, chain shift to not let people get something out of it. 
Um, like, even if you're up close, that's way better than, than getting hit. You're, you end up having some options out of it. I probably got thrown there. Not not gonna lie. In the corner. Immediate two three six C out. Yeah. When your back's to the corner, that's so rough. Uh you April, you need to lab that situation. Immediate two three six C out. Uh because you going into the air, Tsurugi entering that like you are screwed if you don't fly out of there. And I think I need to not uh 13545. So I'm just gonna go back just like five seconds. Yeah, right here. It's smart because if you just push the CG to full stream with five seconds left, you cannot lose. Yeah. Like you actually cannot lose. You could just stall two seconds and then do two three six C and you'd be fine, right? Those charge two C's just uh trying to uh, CG trying to have that button play the neutral for him. Yeah. Charge 2C has a, a, a guard point frame and a, a decently generous one. Okay, so this stuff happens. Guard point can be a bit awkward, right? It's not super active. It's not super active. And it's I think I jumped to the wrong spot. Exactly. Yeah, because it's right after this. Yeah, but especially on moves like that, uh, that Charge 2C and like the J236 button. Yes. Very, very useful armor. Because uh, on those... Yeah, so you get hit here. Go to force to spend a meter. Man. It's not, it's not that All right. Oh, yeah, like, absolutely. you still almost got 100. You've, you've almost got oh, your reverse already. Such though. a good match there. In the corner. Immediate 2 3 6 C out. Yeah, so th this situation, you already don't burn your flight against Tsurugi. Like, you need the flight in order to not let force function happen. Because here, you're going to lose. Doesn't matter what you cancel into. Oh, yeah, you, you can't like you, you need to just lob out that situation and know that you need to not waste flight uh, that way. Both players fighting for cycle here. The green shield will give it to CG because he didn't uh, fall for it. All right, so here I, I just want to uh, bring this up uh, that CG is doing that like other people need to copy. Uh, button button. Ending pressure here, and then just gonna chill. Uh, Button rebeat, chilling, and then not immediately going back in, giving the uh, uh, opponent a, a chance to mess up. Baiting green shields, and also like trying to see um, how this person is gonna mash. It's not just about the shields; it's to, um, it. so like dash block, nothing happened. So button. Short pressure, ending it, and ending it spaced with punish. Like, a lot of uh, our players aren't doing this yet, and they really should. Like, use pressure to get someone to mess up. Um, it is near impossible to press a button at just the right timing to where you counter hit their mash. It is significantly easier to space yourself in a way where if they mash, it leads to nothing. And then you either punish them or you take your turn back. All the way punished, but nothing out of it. Good tag. Good tag too. Yep, I like spending the meter over spending CS, but is it unable to win the cycle? Still oh, gets the hit. Mashing. But drops the combo into the corner too. This is massive. Gets worm Oki as well. Yeah, no, you're going for the combo. There's no reason to go for Worm Oki when you already have 4K. Oh, Worm. DP. In this house, we wake up DP. This has been a wake up reversal kind of... It really has been. That's the fun thing about... Sometimes, when you watch two players who play so many times, there's so many layers happening that we can just not know about, right? Yeah. And sometimes you get so high that it just becomes a set where you wake up DP every time. <laughs> <laughs> like, for all we know, in their last 30 casual, April doesn't DP once. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. The, the, the layers start deep when they start early. Yeah, yeah. I, I, again, you're... Like, there's no reason for CG yeah, to exactly. not just be mashing CS the instant they block a B or C button. The, 
uh, if you're going to not be baiting the, the chain shift. Like, you, you just have to be cognizant of that. Make uh, CG use that chain shift for nothing except a little bit of meter to get CG to stop doing that. Nice. Yep. I didn't think intended to go into two three six C for the route. That was just for the plus frames. Yeah, but it worked, yeah. right? Doesn't matter. The one big downside about doing a two three six C early in the combo yeah. is it completely kills your meter gain. Oh, you actually yeah. gain zero meter through the entire route when you would gain like eighty oh, meter. He went for it, but he did flub the shield punish. That is, that is someone who is confident against Rokava going for the shield punish. Unfortunately, I think she go to the second to last hit nope. instead of the last exactly. one. You fool. Well, you once the Merkava players start. Uh, okay. Getting a lot better. I'm going to have to like actually grind that out. <laughs> I've not. Uh, I, I've fallen out of practice on that punish. I like how April plays it though. Just says I'm not gonna let you wake up CSTP me. Big opener. With the meter available, this is gonna be close. I think April is gonna take the Oki here. I like waiting. By not checking there, CG actually bought it. Oh, so th this is for CG. Um, if you <clears throat> if you see this block string here, uh, into 4C, into uh, 2FF, this is super fake. Uh, you can absolutely uh, use 236C to kill this. Um, Yuzu can, uh, can punish with 236B. Yeah, if you have a long-reaching thing, uh, you can do something. Even if you don't, you can dash and tier. If you just, like, do, like, run up 3C or whatever, uh, if that's your and tier, or with Yuzu, like, run up 5C, like, if you recognize that um, the Merkava likes doing that string, yeah, yeah, lab it on your own. I'm just saying it is uh, slow enough. Uh uh, 2FF puts Merkava in flight. Uh, he can air block, but uh, grounded normals are all air unblockable. Yeah, yeah, Mika Tornado would just ruin this. Like, uh, let, let me just verify what the block string was, but it's basically just spaced uh, situation. 5B, 5C, 4C, 2FF. So I'm, I'm about to do that right now. So let me. Uh, I'll, I'll start with with Yuzu, and let's get Markava in here. Um. Okay. Yeah. So it, it'll be like that. I, I did not block that overhead. Um, so let's let's bring out another character. Let's use good old hide. So. 6 c won't work, but oh, and I'm, I'm so focused on dashing. Um, let's see. Maybe laser. Hyde might not have like a good punish. I'm going to try Palebringer. Nah, Hyde might not have, um, have that. Yeah, um, you, you might just have to do something like that. But the, the point is, it's fake enough 
uh, that you should be able to do something about it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Lene probably has a pretty easy one. Yeah. Lene, Lene has it easy. Wald probably has it extremely easy. Yeah, super easy. He, a lot of, um, can I do it with a meterless reaper? I doubt it. All right, I'm gonna, that, that is probably the best thing for Gordo. Um, the, the main thing there is, uh, if his only, um, you, you have, you're basically, uh, calling out the two FF, but you have like a good amount of time to, to react to this because, um, that, that move two FF on its own. Let me, let me get a new, uh, recording just so I don't ruin it. Uh, 17 frames into then him being vulnerable. Um, So you, you have enough time to just like dash block forward. Uh, let's get rid of that. And, um, and do something about it. Uh, I'll, the reason why it's worth being able to just call out is because I've been noticing a lot of Merkava players just doing that and they don't get contested. So they don't try to frame trap from it. Like they can, absolutely do something like th like that but then this is death on block like if you want a frame trap with that sure but if if they block it uh you can um generally like punish them for it. Um, two through six B is probably not the, uh, it's probably two one four. That would be the, yeah, that. Um, I mean, two and four, it, you'd think it's safe. Uh, a lot of the cast can punish it. Punish. Um, oh, did they buff 236B? I did not know that. But either way, do not give mercs uh, easy, free flight. Not everything will be a true punish every time, but it is very worth knowing when something is challengeable. All right, uh, back to the stream here Why not there? yeah I, I don't think surugi 236c would do it but at the very least it is an opportunity to get out of the corner Yeah, this is death. Probably the round. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Even without the side swap, that's still around for sure. Oh, you, could, you could actually just side swap in the red if you wanted to. You yeah, know, it right. just happened to work out that way, right? Yeah. Like, because even if it was blocked, April was out of the corner. Exactly. Both players playing very patient. Oh, yeah. Nice. We say that's an April match. Yeah, first one to bite is April. 
I might have given them the commentator curse. Apologize. Text out of the corner into the veil. That is not what you wanted. Because it just gives you offense in the corner. Into the O worm. Yeah, there's no reason not to delay tech there. Like, it, April, if you do this, it's so obvious that this is the DP safe thing. Uh, you just got to trust that uh, someone like CG is smart enough not to DP here. So take the greedy 50-50 uh, and just float there longer. Keep floating and uh, you'll have a much better chance of opening them up. Because that, that, at that timing, that's fuzzy blockable. Yeah. So, like, the, the timing that they did is the DP safe timing that can just be fuzzy blocked high-low. It is There's nothing special about it. Um, Any time that there's a true 50-50 from Merkava, uh, it can be reversaled. Or it can even be mashed. So... Because of that, uh, I understand that it can be scary, but like you're not going to open someone up playing safe. N they're not going to open up someone of your caliber playing safe. Yeah, there are very few times where the 50 50 portion is uh, real and it's. No, actually, no, it's it's never really real because if the high-low, if it's backed by worms, you just have to be ready to fuzzy block during those points. And during the non-worm backed moments, uh, like if they wanted to actually hit same frame high and low, they would have to uh, go beyond the worm timing. So yeah, th it's never a safe 50-50. Um, like the worms... I uh, hit on a timer and timing it to be when those worms are hitting uh, is really hard to have them actually hit same frame, the high and the low. Uh, most of the time you can more or less be uh, okay. Assuming it's either a fuzzy block moment or a 50, 50, which can be DP or mashed. If, if there's worms, you can't mash. You just, you can only DP. I like that delayed chain shift. I don't think April is gonna get enough. No, April does get enough meter. But yeah, you can't get enough meter. I like that backdash. I really wish April would not be doing that. Um, you can't get enough meter and around to the there. So this, there's no mix off of this. You waste chain shift on some plus frames that you don't even need. Um, yeah, there's just, there's way better uses for chain shift here. Like, don't be going for this. My turn? My turn? Nah, you're dead. Okay, are you gamer? Okay, no, not gamer, not gamer. Didn't need to. That would have been a set too is the funny thing. It would have been, but I But it's, it's, I know, I, I wouldn't have done it either. All, all right. Game. Yeah. Like that, yeah, the quick little low to catch April mashing again. But yeah, like really the, the, the big things against a player like CG is you have to show fake stuff to give CG an incentive to mash in spots. Um, you have to, um, do real 50-50s as opposed to just doing the DP safe high-low. Um, don't use up flight right away in case uh, for when Tsurugi is directly underneath you because force function stance is going to shit on everything you do on the way down. Um, yeah, and like, be mindful of shields. Don't waste CS with 5A BCS. Um, yeah. Um, I don't play... So most of the people that I play with play on PC. So I do not know what the PS4 or PS5 player base looks like. Um, 
I know like when we play in tournaments offline, we're playing on PS4 and PS5s as well. So like people own it on that. Um, I don't know how much people are net playing it. Uh, I just, I, you know, picked it up. Yeah. PlayStation is way bigger in Japan. Um, I would say like definitely uh, as far as ranked goes, I couldn't tell you. But there is definitely a very active scene for um, PS4. And that Discord link is for the main Undernight server. Um, there is a PSN channel that I'm seeing, like, looking at it right now. There uh, are a bunch of people that are pinging for games. So you can absolutely get games playing this game uh, on PS4. Or PS5, because you can play PS4 versus PS5. Uh, okay. But I think um, this about wraps us up. Uh, I don't have any other um, games to review, I think. Uh, let me double check here, though. Oh, no, there's one more uh, before we call it a night. And it's going to be... Uh, another one with April, but this time I'm going to be helping out Astolfo, my homie, the Nanase. Yeah, they're all the same frame data. Like, and, and now they're actually the same property. Would be pretty much all right, so we'll do this one, and then uh, that will be uh, calling it a night. Uh, stop making it. All right, all right. That, that's all I wanted. You're giving me spacebar control. Like strictly a bad thing. But getting into it, we got April versus Salfo here, loses finals, so it's another first three. Merc is cheap. I don't actually know very much about this matchup. Uh, in, in clear yeah, bit too quick on the throw, but that's not really a huge deal. Yeah, I, mean, I like that fireball set. Merc is really good at calling out like button force function fireball. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird listening to my own commentary. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this down. Disjointed manner, call out fireball sets, right? It's yeah. just like, yep, it's yeah. Just way nice. I'm glad you chased down from that. You recognize the green shield. That was good. You, even if you didn't get the punish, it is yeah, good that to good. um, t that that is just good recognition. Uh, but I will say, like, uh, a lot of times, um, what you can do because it's hard to react to every green shield, right? So when you when you recognize that you got it, um, it is sometimes really good to run throw RPS instead of going straight for the throw. So like here, I guarantee you, if you did like dash up assault, it would uh, have hit uh, April. Nice throw attack. Oh, no reaction on the dive kick whiff. It's a yeah weird route because he used to bounce immediately. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a hard thing to punish. Yeah, trying to turn a shield the last hit of two, three, six B is tough. So you have to shield last hit if you actually want to uh, punish. Get like a real punish. Yeah. Uh, copy ADP. Big damage to the boys. Okay, here you just have to block. Yeah, this, you just have to be, this is just being, having to be aware that this can happen. Yeah, steal the corner. Uh, it's cheap. Uh, I, I agree with past me. That, that, was, that was absolutely cheap. Like, literally all you can do is be aware that that's a thing and try and look at it enough times so that you're ready next time. Yeah, grip thrust there is really good, but like step one is just recognizing it, right? Another thing about delay tracking worms is uh, if Mercado's doing low flight, uh, punish. Yeah. Brady's given up, right? Uh, yeah, uh, as long as he's holding flight, he's uh, losing grid. That's plus. Nice. So, uh, uh, charge. Brady's given up, right? Uh, so here, 
uh, I notice this whenever like we play as well. So you're plus here, right? Uh, green shield happens, and so um, you didn't do anything about it. That's not a big deal. All right, so dive into CS. Um, you very frequently will take this like plus 10 or whatever it is and use that to do a 40 frame jump into float. Um, when something is that plus, a lot of people are just mashing because they're not going to trust that you're going to frame trap. You need to establish the frame trap. Nice, I like that. Oh, that's gonna hurt. No, that was, was just unfortunate. Okay, I, I like that use of AB, but let's see. So, um, just RPS around um, 63A here. Um, so, 66B can frame trap, of course. Uh, you can call out the 66B with uh, your two or your five frame 2A. Um, you can, uh, but this is a really good spot to do up back if you have a special that uh, can um, that can whiff punish on the way down. So like up back fireball here would whiff punish 4B and it would whiff punish another 66B. So. You gotta make Merkava have to take a bigger risk by showing that you're not caring about the traditional take your turn back by making them by swinging into it. You up back and toss a, a slow fireball or whatever to punish them for going for uh, the same thing again. Oh, four B, my beloved. Yep. Minus frames into four B is classic. Block. Oh, nice. That's actually such a good throw. I, I, I really like it. Let's see. Ooh, oh, I like the okay. two and four. Oh. Uh, that was really unfortunate, but I, I still liked it a lot. Oh, went Bet for it all. Bet I mean, it had the life. Yeah, like, why not? Life. Yeah, no I, meter for yeah. Merc, so like. Yeah, I, I agree with that. You weren't going to die regardless. Oh, oh no. Throw. Shouldn't have thrown your. Uh, oh, if if you. If you do uh, sword car no cancel, don't don't show shield. Like, this is such a scary point. Uh, you either want to like mash through here or mash assault here. Honestly, dive kick is really good. Um, it, it, in the like sixty three a block string, um, up back dive kick like from Hilda and stuff like that also stuffs um, Merkava trying to do shit. The main thing is you want it to be slower than the immediate 4B so that it whiff punishes it and just fast enough to whiff punish the 6-6B. Oh, I would have thrown if I were, if I were Salto there. No, I, 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 I get it though. Sometimes you just want Yeah, I mean, you're minus six, but like if they're respecting the stab, then you can get away with shit it is kind of my point around throwing or assaulting there. Yeah, you're minus six, but you've you've already just won a round off of willing to do swords car into delayed stab. And stab is Nanase's best starter. So um, I'm not necessarily a huge proponent of uh, using sword car like that to RPS, but if you're already in that spot, uh, do it in a way that's advantageous for you. 
Like, it's not enough to just not get hit. You should aim to kill them. That's one of those things where it's like, if your opponent doesn't realize that your mine is, it's like, really risky to field splash like that. I, like, I, I say this as, as someone that very frequently does minus seven move with Yuzu, no cancels it, and then does run up assault. And, like, I get all, way more counter hits against people than you would think. And, but it's just because people are really respecting the frame trap because no sane person would be minus six, minus seven in someone's face. Hey, I'm glad you uh, found it helpful. That's awesome to hear. Oh, uh, that's cheap. Yeah. Now, honestly, uh, FF might go really high, but so does Merc 4B. Yeah, don't shield, don't shield. Shielding when Merkava is doing high-low stuff is asking to die. You get locked into into your uh, guard, don't do it. But yeah, um, just I really want to like circle back real quick to the thing with uh, swords, sword car no cancel. Um, just to put it in like perspective for like non essay players, non essay players already like doing uh, two and four into run up throw, and two and four is like minus eleven, and they're already doing that, and it's already effective even at, at like high level. It's effective, so like the sword car is no different. It is hard to shield worms, especially without one AD. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So, um, right here, your grid is pretty good, right? It is hard to shield. Um, you're ahead on grid. The instant you're ahead on grid, you need to stop shielding. Like, unless there's a uh, fireball that you can shield safely, uh, don't shield anymore. Um, you might be finding it easier to mash the sword card than the tornado, but, uh, that's probably because it's when throw is on the table, the no cancel is extra scary for, um, for Nanase. And also like people feel safer mashing an A button against sword car than they do mashing a C button against tornado. Cause you can punish tornado with a C button, uh, with a lot of the cast, like Merkava 5B punishes tornado. But um, just because, um, yeah, people are more willing to mash A buttons, which is why it's like kind of scary to do something that close. But if you're going to do something like that, you might as well RPS in a way that you get really good reward for it. Like you're taking a lot of risk. You might as well turn that into like a 4K combo. But yeah, back to this. Uh, Astolfo, you are shielding way too much. You have way more than enough grid uh, to win this cycle. There is no reason to shield any further, especially because Assault JB from Merc does not uh, get punished on shield. So it's actually just not worth it. Ah, you're dead. It uh, doesn't kill until the last hit, so. I like, I'm seeing that you're hesitant to use three CAD, which I know that you know how to do. Uh, so like, what I would recommend is like, next time you play in tournament, literally just remind yourself at the beginning of each match to do to use three CAD. Um, it is scary because you can get frame trapped and all that. But um, you can't let people just get away with that many assaults. Um, e either focusing on challenging in other ways or um, e 
if you want to play lame and just block it out, that is fine too. But like the really the main thing is just don't shield. Um, it's too risky. Shielding is fine um, as you're fighting for the cycle, but once you're ahead, if you don't have Vorpal, uh, regular blocking is going to increase your grid too. So who, you don't need it. You don't need any more grid. Nice. Now you can win this one, though. Don't yep. This one. Tornadoes, even though it's minus 11, it's hard to challenge. Oh, fair enough. Oh, oh the scare down. I like this. Oh, no. oh that's so yeah, unfortunate. This is so, so much dead. damage. You're actually so dead. Yeah, this isn't death. So but this oh, is a lot. Okay. No, but it's still good. Oh, God, it almost hit 6K. Oh, yeah. Oh, but yeah, really just three cad more. Uh watch how you shield. Um when you uh, are doing RPS around really minus things, be willing to uh make to get the most reward out of it. But yeah. Um and really, really, really force yourself to three cad. That's that is too huge. But yeah, overall good stuff. All right, I'm gonna see where uh, it is that I can uh, send you guys because it is, I've been at this for a little bit and it's time to eat some dinner and then probably play some more uh, Rebirth before going to bed. So um, I don't know what the hood spot is, but I know Ray K is a Batista grinder so I'm gonna send you guys over to Ray K. It's not a nine to five proposition. So I'm gonna send you guys uh, right over there. I'm glad uh, that you guys hung out. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, the tournament run was fun. Um, hopefully next time it that we play in a net play bracket that. Uh, stream won't be a blow up but uh thank you for being with me in uh in that run um i'll try to stream another time later this week um probably not tomorrow uh but might i'm currently thinking uh wednesday or thursday but i'll make the announcement all right uh thank you guys i will see you guys later bye